Hey, uh, Aiden here, and um, welcome back to the third installment of my series going over um, the best-selling album of every year according to the Billboard year-end charts. Uh, this year's entry is for 1959 and is the, uh, the music from Peter Gunn by Henry Mancini. Um, just a little bit of background on the album before I get into it. Henry Mancini, obviously a very great composer of scores for film and television, um, and Peter Gunn was a spy show at the time, so these are a collection of various leitmotifs and instrumental cues that would be used uh, in various episodes of the show. Um, and obviously it's very famous for the for the Peter Gunn theme, the main one, the everyone you know everyone knows that song that do 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 uh it's just a it's just a classic and um yeah it's uh, but there's a lot of great songs on there it, most of it is a lot jazzier than that song that song's a bit more kind of rock and roll for the time and kind of um the rest of the album is a little softer and more mellow but yeah i could definitely imagine that this would be a very unique soundtrack for a tv show at the point at the point in time that it came out it's not just kind of stock music it has its own identity I could imagine it would be very popular for that reason as well as for the reason that Mancini is a very good composer um, one of my favorite movies uh, Touch of Evil has um, a Mancini song as the opening uh, theme and it's it's amazing I think it's my favorite one by him but the songs in here are very good too top-notch as well um, yeah, and so, um, just spoiler alert, my favorite song on the album is the famous Peter Gunn theme. I just love the, the ostinato that plays through it. You know, it's just very rocking. I, I think my favorite part is are those, like, horn blasts that kind of rise in volume and just kind of, like, punch during the song. I think that's very cool. Um, but I like m pretty much everything on the album. I think, I don't know if I could pick an individual weakest. My only criticism would be that as the album goes on, um, there starts to get a little sameness to a lot of the tracks. There, A lot of them are kind of slow moving and jazzy, which that's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, for an entire album, you know, that's the issue. Um, but yeah, uh, the piano, like there will be, there will be interesting touches. Like some certain songs will have a very cool kind of piano sound. Certain songs will have like a a, a good mix on the horns, kind of, uh, or one that will be like unexpected. Um, so that's cool. And the production is very good throughout. It has a very kind of cool, kind of crisp sound, while also sounding very kind of smoky and hazy in that jazzy way. Um, and yeah, so my favorite song is the Peter Gunn theme, and I couldn't really pick a least favorite song. Um, for a review between one and five stars, I'm going to give this four, but I think it's a relatively weak four, um, just for me. Um, but I think it, it, it merits a four just because of how you know unique it is, how much of uh, a difference it must have been at the time to hear it and how good the music is how well it's kind of put together and broadcast this very cool atmosphere throughout it i think cool is just a very good word for the album like you just feel like it's a very kind of like it, it, it's kind of like the james bond music in a way where it's very kind of um you know suave i guess you could say um and so i'm going to give it a week four stars um, and the final ranking with it, uh, between the albums that I've done so far, number one, Harry Belafonte's Calypso, number two, uh, Henry Mancini's The Music from Peter Gunn, and number three, the original soundtrack cast recording for My Fair Lady. Thank you for watching. See you next time.